Want to know all there is to know about watchdogs? Stick around to find out more. Hi, and welcome to Sec Team GB. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most highly anticipated games of the year, Watch Dogs. Now, if you haven't seen any videos of this already, this is probably one of the better ones to watch because this is going to cover literally everything but no spoilers. Um, I promise. <laughs> now, what we're going to be talking about is the gameplay mechanics, my thoughts, and then the overall feel of the game. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible, but obviously with a huge and massive game like this, there's just so much to talk about. Now first up is the gameplay mechanics. First off, I cannot go without saying the hacking and the you know world um, changing uh, properties that you can do. Um, I really quite like them, although they are a little bit gimmicky. So first off, I must say that this game is kind of mass market styling. Um, if an indie game developer had taken this and, and made it um, with the same sort of funding, um, then it would probably be uh, a bit more sort of uh, kind of puzzly. Um, it is a puzzle styled game. You have to uh, use the environment and mold the environment to your needs, kind of like Portal or Deus Ex, um, but kind of a toned down version of that for, as I said, the mass market. Now the hacking and world environment changing uh, stuff you can do is actually really awesome. Um, for the fairly repetitive content like police chases and fixer chases, um, what you can do is mould the world to how you want to use it. So if you're in a police chase and then you suddenly um, turn a corner and there's a spike strip in front of you, what you can do, like uh, a spike strip that's already in the road, um, what you can do is just as you pass the spike strip, activate it and have the police cars completely blow out all the tyres um, so that you get away free while the police are kind of stuck um, spinning around in circles. Now the driving mechanic isn't really the best one I've ever seen, it's kind of like Saints Row 3, um, but it kind of seems a bit more assisted driving um, and I really feel like even though I'm playing on the PC I really have to use a controller to actually drive which is not the best, um, although I generally use controller when I'm driving for games like GTA or Saints Row uh, as well, so it's not too bad. I do like the fact that they've put in um, driving as opposed to just, just like Deus Ex where it's sort of fast travel between areas, um, so that's that's pretty awesome. Um, I do like driving on motorbikes though which is fantastic that's really easy to weave in and out of traffic and stuff like that as well as you don't really get any of the sort of when you hit the brake pedal the back end goes out like you do on all the cars. Now I must say the car selection in the game seems to be fairly kind of uh, restricted. There's only about 20 to 30 different types of cars you see on a daily or you know on an average basis. Um, apparently there are about 60 vehicles, 50, 60 different types of vehicles that includes you know police cars, fire engines and ambulances, um, uh, as well as you know variations of uh, very similar cars, um, and there's also five other bikes. There's also two types of boats as well, which are uh, you know okay to use, they're not the best uh, water mechanics either, um, but at least they're there. Now going back to the world manipulation, what you can do is uh, activate other things like um, bollards, spike strips, um, and basically what I'm going to do is go through each one uh, as quickly as I possibly can. So the bollards are if you're driving through a very fast area and then all of a sudden um, cars, you know, police cars or fixers are behind you, you clear the bollards, activate them, they pop up and then that car smashes into them completely totaling them. Um, other things as I said are spike strips which you can drive over, activate them and then the police cars or fixers uh, get the tires blown out and are left stranded. Other things are blockers or blockades or whatever they're called, um, that are basically just three, uh, probably about two or three feet uh, worth of uh, concrete that pops up at the road and as I said with the blockers stuff smashes into them you get away scot-free. There's other things that you can hack in the world like traffic lights which means uh, the AI traffic smashes into the people you're chasing um, and there are a few other things as well um, but feel free to adventure around the watchdogs world. The shooting mechanic isn't actually that bad, um, it tends to follow a sort of, uh, you can switch weapons holding uh, holding a button and then select one with the mouse. It's really not designed for PC though because uh, the usability of that's not great, because when you hold tab it brings up your menu button or your menu selector, you then use the mouse to select it but then because you can carry multiple different um, 
uh, weapons under a class so you can carry multiple pistols at assault rifles or shotguns or rifle like sniper rifles um, it kind of you have to use the, the arrow keys to select once you've selected uh, like say I want a pistol um, I can select between four or five different types of pistols that I have on me at the time but because time doesn't slow down or anything when you open the pistol wheel like uh, in GTA 5 uh, you kind of get left dead because you're you know switching between weapons all the time now another game changing mechanic is the hacking uh, when you hack the CTOS network. Now the CTOS network is the uh, operating system that the whole of Chicago in theory is running on. So all of the facial recognition all, as well as all the, the CCTV cameras, um, bridges, bollards, all that sort of stuff. Uh, in theory they're all controlled by the CTOS network. Now one thing I did find out that is that even when you're not connected to the CTOS network in some areas, you can still access things like the bridges which are really awesome. Um, you can just pop up a bridge and like jump over them and the place are left stranded. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, you can also access things like traffic lights, bollards, as long as you have those unlocked um, in your um, skills tree. You can, you can use them, which is a bit strange because basically uh, that just leaves you with a facial recognition, which means that's basically just the ATM hacking which since money really isn't worth anything in the game because I you know I've hacked like three people's bank accounts and all I've done is all the missions and I still have thirteen thousand dollars and I have every gun in the game all the ammo I could possibly need and all of the crafting parts um, it's really not worth much. Now the crafting isn't like Far Cry 3 crafting, it's very kind of basic, all you have to do is select something in your weapons wheel, hit stab E to craft it and just make sure you have all the stuff. Um, you don't even see him crafting it, he literally just pulls out his pocket. Um, so it's not great, as I said this game really is designed for the mass market as opposed to sort of uh, Deus Ex style where you really got to think about everything uh, through uh, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Now one of the cool things is uh, outside of the campaign you can do uh, like crime fighting activities which is really quite awesome. So the crime fighting is effectively means it comes up, there's a crime in your area and then you have to go stop it. Now it's a bit strange because you have to wait until the person has actually committed a crime before you can stop them. Um, which means often somebody's dead before you kill the killer bit strange uh, but you still get the the uh, you know reputation for that um, and you get negative reputation if you you know run over pedestrians and stuff like that now the campaign and story itself is actually really really immersive I really enjoyed it um, as far as what I've played so far I haven't finished the campaign so feel free to shoot me um, if you can get to the right weapon in time Ha, huh, good joke. Anyway, um, it's a really immersive story. You really feel like you're, you are Aiden Pierce when you're playing the game. Um, you really feel, you know, uh, feel for him and feel for the, uh, some of the other characters when you're playing the game, which is really nice to see. It kind of gives you that effect when you stop, uh, you know, suddenly stop playing and then you feel like you've kind of been sucked out of the world um, and you've kind of, you know, you realise your mouth is dry because it's been wide open for an hour. Now I do keep referring to Deus Ex and stuff like that because this is a fairly similar game in that sense. You still have that world manipulation via sort of a, a hacking infrastructure um, which is quite cool but it's as I said because it's designed for a mass market it's not really it's kind of like a crossover between Portal, Saints Row, GTA and Deus Ex all in one which while still a very fun and entertaining game doesn't really lead it to get really high scores in my, uh, my view. So one of the things I really kind of don't like is the hacking network or when you're hacking the CTOS control center um, or the control centers rather what it kind of does is you change pipes around to be able to you know change the flow of data in a network so that you can get access now this is really a kind of very cheesy way to do it obviously uh, they've had to think of something that's very easy to do in a controller um, as well as on a PC and as well as you know something that you know average Joe down the street can uh, can do as well as someone who can you know actually like hack like the Pentagon or something that's not me by the way I'm, I'm referring to average Joe and hacker guy I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. Now the bullet time mechanic isn't really anything special I don't really use it that much because it's very, uh, way too easy to run in and just shoot everyone even on one of the harder difficulties but it's good that it's there, it's a nice feature, and also you can use it while driving, so if you're in a sticky situation and, you know, need to turn a very quick corner and then activate bollards and then activate spike strips all in about three seconds, that's still okay, and you can still do that, which is pretty awesome. Now, as I was saying, with it's fairly easy, you can actually 
you know, run into, you know, a, a well-guarded compound with 30, 40 enemies and kill them all in about five minutes, um, which is something that I'm really not uh, very happy with, especially because, as, I, as I've been talking about, it's fairly kind of a mass market game, um, and I'm sorry that I keep go harping on at that point, but it really does hit home that um, the, the game is designed to be a sort of puzzle game. You manipulate the world to how you need it. Um, you can either be stealthy or, you know, aggressive, um, but it's just so simplified that you end up having a puzzle system which is literally just move something, get to that camera, move it back, go to that camera, open something, or you know the, the run and gun attitude which is just far too easy. Now, obviously, as I said, it's you know designed for average Joe and hacker guy, and you know it fits somewhere in the middle. But it's just you know it kind of uh, there's little points that kind of pull me out of the game um, when I'm you know playing it, and I just realise that it's kind of it's trying to be Portal and, and Deus Ex, but it really isn't. So overall, this game is really fun and entertaining to play. Obviously, I've harped on about its negative sides, but it really is very, very fun to play. As I said, the story is very, very immersive. It's very, you know, you really feel like you're Aiden Pierce, and you really feel for some of the characters that are, you know, with you in, in your journey. Um, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the story has to offer. Um, but, as I said, it's fairly, you know, simplified. I would love to see, you know, a group of indie developers with, you know, some decent funding have another stab at something similar with sort of similar game mechanics and see if they can't come up with something better. Now, obviously, I'm not saying this is bad. I really, really, as I said, I really do love playing this game. It really does pass the time very, very well. Um, and I find myself having to sort of pull myself away from the game um, because it's just so fun. Obviously, it's not really... Um, so amazing that I'd give it, you know, a 10 out of 10. I'd probably say it's kind of a 7 out of 10 for me. Um, personally, it's that's not a professional rating in any capacity. We've never done game reviews here before. Um, but if you like this review, um, obviously I've, I've done it as best as I can with the green screen and hopefully the stuff that's going on behind me um, has been fairly relevant to what I've been talking about. <laughs> um, I do talk quite fast and quite a lot, so I may have some trouble editing this. But hey, it'll be worth it, hopefully. Um, and if it is worth it, leave a comment down below to say what your favourite part was, what your favourite part of the game is, and also if you know you even like this or not. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you do like it, hit the like button. I keep harping on about those, but we, it really does help us out. Now, if you want to help us out even more and get yourself a copy of Watch Dogs, use our Amazon link, which will be just at the top of that, or just just under the like button actually. Um, you can use that, and then you get uh, you know you get your copy of Watch Dogs, but we also get a lovely little percentage of that cut. Um, it doesn't cost you anything, um, and if you want to buy anything else, including anything that isn't Watch Dogs, there's also a link to that in the uh, the comments or the description, sorry, down below. Um, and also, if you want to help us out and just be free, make sure you signed in and hit the like button or the dislike button we don't mind which one we love your feedback um, and a comment really helps us out more otherwise if you want to see any more game reviews um, as I said leave that in the comments and the like button um, and yeah I really do like this game so definitely pick it up and when the online uh, ver or online servers come online which will hopefully be either today or tomorrow depending on when this video uh, today or yesterday depending on when this video comes out um, I'll hopefully see you guys on there. We'd love to have a game with you guys um, and, you know, hack our way into each other's lives. <laughs> <laughs>